Hi, hi! How is it going? I hope it's great. My name's Anton and today we are going to talk... Wait a minute, I need to finish this. Today, there is a very popular job, an Instagram blogger, but it's not as easy as I thought. Because a blogger is a person who not only keeps a blog, but also takes beautiful photos. And uh, I don't really like all the photos that I've taken today. Maybe there is a problem with my phone, which is very old. Or I just haven't got any skills which are necessary to be a blogger. So it's quite an interesting job, but let's talk more about jobs and relative pronouns. What are they? Just have a look at the sentences you've just heard. A blogger is a person who not only keeps a blog, but also takes beautiful photos. And I really don't like all the photos that I've taken today. Maybe there is a problem with my phone, which is very old. Or I just haven't got any skills which are necessary to be a blogger. The words in bold are called relative pronouns. They are used in relative clauses which you have already learned and help us to give some more additional information without making a new sentence. Today we are learning who, which and that. Let's see in which cases we use each of them. We use who for people. We use which for animals and things. We use that for people, animals and things in defining relative clauses. Who or which are also possible. Let's have a look at two pictures. The girl that has got long straight hair is one of the most famous Ukrainian Instagram bloggers, Yulia Verbenet. In picture one, we see two girls, and I want you to know which one she is. She's got long, straight hair. In this case, you have a choice to use either who or that without changing the meaning. Pay attention that there are no commas here. If you don't give us information, it would be very difficult to understand which one she is. In picture two, there is only one girl. We just want to give some more information about her. She's got long, straight hair, but this information isn't so important. And if we don't tell, it, the sentence will not change its meaning. In this case, you might use who. Note also that we use commas here. Do you like riddles? I'll read you a description of a person or a thing, and you need to guess it. There can be several answers. Don't forget to pause the video if you need more time to think. It's a person who has a very popular blog and shows different products and services so other people want to buy them. Influencer. It's a person who can create a beautiful design of a house or flat. Interior designer. It's a person that introduces a television show or program. TV presenter. It's a person who knows one or more programming languages and can write code in order to create computer programs, games or websites. Programmer. It's a word which we use to talk about Instagram bloggers' readers. Follower. Is it easy 
to be a good professional. Let's look at the following qualities and decide which jobs require them. Some qualities can be used more than once. You need to pause the video to do this task. So let's check it out. There is no correct or incorrect answer, so you might have other ideas. A good judge is a person who is fair, punctual, honest. A good police officer is a person who is brave, disciplined, active. A good journalist is a person who is honest, smart, skillful. A good psychologist is a person who is caring, careful, sociable. A good bodyguard is a person who is reliable, attentive, brave. A good YouTube blogger is a person who is creative, sociable, active. You did a great job. Now you can easily describe any job using relative pronouns. Have a good day and see you soon in our new video lessons. Bye.